the fire department, so thank you so much for joining me. Um, can you just explain a little bit, you know, what's going to be going on right here in just uh, about a couple minutes or so, right? We have an annual ceremony, mm -hmm. which we hold on, of course, September 11th, and we invite members of the public. We have members of the fire department, the police department, and we uh, just kind of memorialize the folks, not just the passed away on September 11th, 2001, but we also remember the firefighters and police officers who have passed in line of duty in the last year, as well as remember our service people. Mm -hmm. And it, I mean, like we said, this has been like a kind of a crazy year, obviously, with the pandemic. So it's been hard to hold some events. But why was it so important to make sure that this still happened today? I think it's important to each year remember, again, the past year, as well as remember what happened 19 years ago. Mm -hmm. And despite the, whether the weather's raining or colder or a beautiful day like we usually have, um, and despite the pandemic situation, we still think it's important to do this. So we do. Mm -hmm. And so what does this day mean to you personally? Well, personally, I, I'm a person who grew up on Long Island, New York. I knew a lot of folks who um, were involved uh, in, in, the, in the efforts. Um, I was on uh, affiliated with a fire department that um, lost two firefighters wow. in September 11th. I had a roommate from college who passed in one of the towers. So I have a connection that goes to my, my birth and my roots, but I also have the connection that's through the emergency services and through the police and the fire and the Port Authority and all the other citizens who passed away that day. So I, I got a pretty strong connection, and I felt these last 19 years it's important to get together, um, if not the evening of the first day, um, every year since to remember everyone. Gotcha. Wow, yeah, it's deep, deep connections there for you. And something that I was talking about earlier is anytime you, you talk about 9-11, everyone remembers exactly where they were and what they were doing. So, I mean, for you, when you hear 9-11, you, what, what were you doing that day? Uh, yes, we do all remember where we were, and I, I've had a business outside of before I became fire chief, and a year before I became a full-time fire chief, 19 years ago, I was working at a job at the uh, University of Vermont Medical Center. Oh my goodness. And I remember yeah. hearing about it and coming upstairs, and of course, like everyone else, standing around in one of the rooms watching what unfolded before us. Um, and, and it was a, it's just a tragic thing to have unfold before your eyes, and there's almost it almost doesn't recognize. There, there's, a, there's a little bit of, of shock that I think occurred that day for most people. And although you saw what was unfolding, you didn't really grasp the consequence until mm -hmm. it had some time to sink in. And of course, you settled back in the evening and watched it further. So it was, it was, a, it was, a, it was a tough day to work through. And, uh, but we all did it, and we all moved forward. Yeah, and even though we're moving forward, we always have to look back and, like we said, not forget. So thank you so much for joining me this morning and sharing your experience. And I'm going to be sticking around later to join you guys during the ceremony. Um, but for now, guys, live in Williston, Brittany Weir, Local 44 News.